In this example, I'm going to create a query that shows cost transactions for a given job number. I've set up an input cell for the job number. I've shaded it yellow and given it a border as a visual cue. Excel has a cool feature called Named Ranges that lets you give intuitive names to cells on the spreadsheet. I find that it's a lot easier to work with a name like Job Number than it is to use an address like B1. First I select the cell I want to name. Then I click in the Name box and type the new name. Now when I create my query, I'll be able to tie it to the job number using the named range I just created. To create the query, I start by clicking on the cell where I want the query to appear. Then I click the Query Wizard toolbar button. The first step of the wizard lets me pick the table. I want the JC Transaction table. I start by typing the first few letters of the table name, and the selection automatically jumps down to the first matching item. Once I have selected my table, I click Next to begin selecting the fields I want to see in my query. In this case, I want to see Extra, Cost Code, Category, Description, Amount. I also want Invoice and Commitment, so I'll use the same trick I did with the table name and type INV to make the selection jump down. I only want to see transactions for a particular job, so I'm going to add a condition. I want the job to be equal to the number I type in my named range, so I select Parameter for the value type, and pick the named range from the drop-down list. Then I click OK to add the condition to the query. I also only want to see cost transactions, so I'm going to add another condition. I pick transaction type for the field so I can limit the results to cost types. I want to see the transactions for any of the six cost types, so I select the one of comparison. When I do that, the list of items that I want to compare against is displayed. There is nothing in it yet, so I'm going to start adding items by selecting from existing values using the drop down list. I just click to add AP cost, EQ cost, JC cost, PR cost. There are two more cost types, but the transaction table does not currently have any transactions of those types, so they do not appear in the list. That's okay, because I can just type the other two transaction types and add them manually by clicking on the green plus sign. Now that I have the entire list of cost types, I click OK to add the condition. I'm ready to see my data now, so I click Finish to insert the query. Now I can type a job number, and click Refresh to see the cost transactions for that job.